Welcome to USMLE Memorizations. Today we're going to talk about pericarditis. What are the three different types of pericarditis? The three different types of pericarditis includes fibrinous pericarditis, serous pericarditis, and suppurative pericarditis. What are some of the key features of fibrinous pericarditis? Some of the key features of fibrinous pericarditis includes that it occurs after a transmural myocardial infarction. There is also a Dressler syndrome that can be observed from fibrinous pericarditis and it has the bread and butter appearance. What is Dressler syndrome? A Dressler syndrome is delayed pericarditis that happens after 2 to 10 weeks after infarction. And this happens due to autoantibodies. What group of drugs are used to treat Dressler syndrome? Group of drugs that are used to treat Dressler syndrome includes corticosteroids. What is the most common cause of getting serous pericarditis? The most common cause of serous pericarditis includes viral infection with Coxsackie virus. It is a key feature that can be seen in serous pericarditis. A key feature that can be seen in serous pericarditis is uremia that can occur. What is uremia? Uremia is a high level of urea and other nitrogenous compounds that are found in the blood which normally should have been excreted by the kidney. What are some of the key features of suppurative pericarditis? Some of the key features of suppurative pericarditis are that it can happen due to bacterial infections, fungal infections, or parasitic infections. What are some of the clinical signs that can be observed in all the pericarditis? Some of the clinical signs that can be observed in all the pericarditis includes a low-grade fever, there is a pericardial friction rub, and pulses paradoxes. For more information on this topic and for a full USMLE Step 1 review, click on the link in the description section below. So this was a quick video in question and answer format. These short videos are to help you recall and memorize high yield facts that are commonly seen on the USMLE. We recommend that you pause this video after every question and try to answer it on your own to see how well you can remember important information. If this video helped you, please be sure to share it on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, as well as you can check out our main YouTube channel, which is called USMLE Fast Track, and there you will find videos from the first date for the USMLE, Step 1. Thank you for watching.